Hey, we're headed back to Brazil this week, and we're cutting some beautiful Brazilian opals. We got a great giveaway. We're giving away a Brazilian opal this week, so make sure you watch the video all the way through. Hey, we're excited for the show. We're cutting Brazilian opals this week. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Prospecting. And if you're new to the channel, we cut opals on this channel, and we cut opals from all around the world. So today we're cutting this beautiful Brazilian opal and well we're actually cutting two beautiful brazilian opals so it should be an exciting cut and we're excited to share it with everyone and we're going to get started here this is the first opal we're cutting today and uh we can see, you can see there's some uh, brown pots on it we're just going to take that off and uh see what we got left and I, w I we need to turn this into almost like a diamond shape um, it's going to be a center piece of a cross so uh, I think that shape will do fine in this pendant we'll get her rubbed up and we'll get her into a workable shape and then we'll get her on a dop stick and uh, finish her up it's got some beautiful color in it and it's super saturated and I love these Brazilian opals they're durable they're tough and uh, they're just an overall uh, beautiful opal. I'm just trying to get her into a shape right now that uh, I can work with and I'm probably going to get it on a dot stick um, once I get it to the rub that I'm looking for and these Brazilian opals they have a not a ton of potch on them so but you can see the spots that we need to work off and um, and we are starting off on the 220 wheel today and once I get it to that uh, the rub then we'll move on to the 280 wheel she's not the biggest opal in the world but uh, she's gonna be a beauty So we're going to flatten the bottom on this opal and then we're going to get another dop stick. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to work with and then we'll finish up the shape on that. Just take, a, take off a couple of the, uh, the points here. Starting to look good. Look at the color in that opal. Amazing. Amazing color in that opal. And I think that's where she needs to be. And we'll move on to the next opal. And this is the first Brazilian opal giveaway. So this opal here will be giving be given away. And there's one other Brazilian opal we're giving away that we'll show later on in the show. So make sure you keep your eye out uh, for the next opal and see how you can enter to win. 
and uh, you can win one of these two beautiful Brazilian opals. And here is the next opal that we're cutting today. And you can see the beautiful colors in it. We got a couple of issues that we'll have to work out. Um, but she should turn out pretty nice. We'll get her into a nice rub. And of course, uh, with a shape like this, the only thing we can go for is a, a teardrop. So we're going to go for a teardrop on this opal and uh, start working her down to a rub. And we'll get her on a uh, dot stick also. Well, you can see there's a ton of color on the bottom of this opal, but um, the way it's orientated, I think we're going to go from the this side here and work our way down and I can see plenty of color underneath the uh, the small bit of potch that's on this opal so I think it'll brighten up as we go down we're still working on the 220 wheel here this opal should be a pretty pretty straightforward cut and we have Mineral Mine coming up later on in the show, uh, a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. As we work the opal down, we're going to take off some of the edges here. And uh, so that side would have been nice, but I think I we're taking it down from this side, we're going to get save more opal. If we would have went up from the other side, we would have had a, a much smaller opal. And you can see there's almost like a divot or like a crack, so we'll have to get that out of there. With these opals, I recommend these uh, Brazilian opals if you can get your hands on some. Uh, there's not a ton around, but uh, if you can find them, I recommend getting some and uh, cutting them because they are some beautiful, beautiful material to work with. And I'm going to start working that crack out where that split in the opal. We'll start working that out a little bit. And I don't think it's that bad. I think it might shrink our stone a little bit. But uh, we'll take it down and see what we got here. So it's going to shrink it a little bit, but not too bad. But, you know, losing anything on an opal is uh, not fun. So we'll shape her up and uh, we're going to get her on a top stick too. It'll be a little easier to work with. Let's see what we got. She's ready for a top stick. I think we'll, we'll top them up. Let's take this edge off here. She's ready to go. And here we have a beautiful quartz crystal cluster with pyrite inclusions. It's a stunning geological formation that combines the beauty of quartz crystals with a metallic luster of pyrite. Quartz crystals are silicon dioxide minerals known for their clarity, transparency, and various colors. When quartz crystals form in clusters, they often grow together, creating intricate and captivating structures. Pyrite, also known as fool's gold, is a sulfide mineral 
with a metallic yellow gold color and a distinct cubic crystal structure. It forms in a variety of geological environments and often occurs alongside quartz. When pyrite is present within a quartz crystal cluster, it adds a striking contrast of color and texture. The golden metallic sheen of pyrite complements the translucent beauty of quartz crystals, creating a visually captivating specimen. The cubic shapes of pyrite crystals can be seen nestled along or protruding from the quartz cluster, adding depth and interest to the formation. Quartz crystal clusters with pyrite inclusions are highly prized by collectors, and you can get minerals like this and other minerals on our website at www.global-prospecting.com. And we've got the opals dopped up and we've moved over to the 280 wheel and we'll refine our shapes and we can handle these uh, smaller opals a little bit better and we'll get the get it shaped up to exactly what we needed and we got to work on our uh, setting edge I've got to get a at least about a I'd say about a 12 degree angle so when it gets um, set it, it'll hold in there nicely and we're gonna give it a nice dome I'm excited about this stone I think it's gonna look good uh, inside the setting should be pretty cool to see so we'll continue to roll our dome here you can see I'm working my dome down And I'm, and I'm aware of my setting edge as I'm uh, working. These Brazilian opals absolutely polish up amazing. It's one of the uh, best opals to uh, polish. I mean, the, the, uh, the shine on these things is absolutely amazing. These Brazilian opals are tough to find right now. Um, there's a couple of places you may be able to find them, but there's not very many of them. And uh, they are not cheap. But if you look around hard enough, you'll be able to find some. Fun to cut, though. I just want to let people know if you're looking for a quicker way to get to our channel you can go to letscutopal.com and that'll take you directly to our channel if anyone has any questions out there or you would like to share something with us you can email us to global prospecting one at gmail.com So we're finishing up on this stone and we're going to move on to the next one. It's starting to look good there. Beautiful colors. Mm. 
We are on to the next stone and we are still on the 280 wheel. And we'll start refining our shape on this stone. And we are aware of our setting edge as we roll a dome on this beautiful teardrop opal. And I'm going to have to take it down a bit to try to get down to that color bar. Um, you can see the color lying right underneath it there. And uh, so we'll work that down a bit and see where, where we finish off, how much we have to take off. It might be a thinner stone, but that's okay as long as we've got uh, some good bright colors. So you can still see here that uh, we definitely have to go down a little bit to reach that bar. So we'll start taking some off that edge there. And our next two cuts that we cut uh, will be black opal. We're going to do a beautiful stayish opal and a lightning ridge black seam opal uh, will be our next cuts. So you can stay tuned for that and they'll be good ones. Some beautiful stones and I'm excited to cut them and we're very excited to share them with you all. So we're going to get ready to uh, move over to the next wheels. And here is the next stone in the Brazilian stone giveaway. This is a beautiful Brazilian opal and we're giving this away too. And stay tuned towards the end of the video and find out how to win this beautiful opal. About 12 months ago, we decided to try and see if we could grow opals. So we went out and we bought all the equipment. Then we did our research and we got all the chemicals we needed. And then we grew opal. So this is our journey on growing opal. We're gonna share it with you guys. Sharing our passion for opal cutting with you is about inspiring you to find your own spark of creativity and joy. Each cut, each polish, and each reveal tells a story of dedication and love for this mesmerizing gemstone. By sharing our knowledge, we invite others to join us on a journey of discovery and appreciation for the breathtaking beauty of opals empowering you to explore your own artistic abilities and find joy in the art of opal cutting. You're not just spectators, you're fellow adventurers in the wondrous world of opals.
and just dropped is the Opal Attic Water Bottles. You can keep your ice and your water in while you're calving your opals. They come in blue, black, red, and gray. And you can get your Opal Attic Water Bottle at global-prospecting.com. They're made of aluminum and beautiful. And here are the completed opals still on the stick. And you can see the beautiful colors in these amazing opals. Look at the color in this. Absolutely mesmerizing. And we're going to get them off the stick and uh, show you what they look like off the sticks. Beautiful polish. Look at that. And here they are completed. And to win one of the two Brazilian opals, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section of this video that says Opal Attic. And then we're going to do a comment picker draw for two winners next week during our live. So make sure you leave a comment that says Opal Attic in it. And you'll be entered in to win one of those two beautiful Brazilian opals. If you're looking for opal rough to cut or you're looking for display specimens, you can visit us at global-prospecting.com. There we have a wide range of opals for cutting and for display. If you enjoyed our video, please consider subscribing and uh, giving us a like. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week.